At first, the Mercedes-Benz ML was equipped with a 3.5-liter V6 petrol, 272 horsepower, and a 5-liter V8, 306 horsepower. Turbo diesels were represented by a 3.0-liter V6, 190 and 224 horsepower, and a 4-liter V8, 306 horsepower. After restyling, the petrol V8 increased in volume to 5.5 liters, 388 horsepower. Turbo diesel OM642 is considered the most reliable. Of its rare weaknesses, one can single out an oil leak through the seal of the heat exchanger. And if you regularly drive through traffic jams, the particulate filter becomes clogged from 55,000 rubles. The base V6 3.5L M272 is the most massive and most problematic. Chronic sore, premature wear of the ceramic metal gear, 4,200 rubles, that drives the balance shaft. Because of this, not only did the gas distribution phases leave, but the chips also got into the oil pump, 7,500 rubles, disabling it. Repairs are made with the removal of the engine and are expensive, from 70,000 rubles. At the same time, the service will probably offer to replace the valve timing adjustment clutches, 21,000 rubles, and the timing chain. Be sure to agree, they will not live long either. At the same time, on a run of 50 to 80,000 kilometers, the plastic swirl flaps of the intake manifold jammed, because of which it was necessary to change it entirely, 29,000 rubles. Note that on post-styling machines, these shortcomings have already been eliminated. But the old V8 of the E113 series, inherited from its predecessor, is simply unkillable. What cannot be said about its 5.5-liter successor? For 50 to 90,000 kilometers you have to update the balance shaft, the replacement of which is no more expensive than that of the V6, since the engine is not dismantled for this. The common rail diesel is generally reliable. Early cars to 150,000 km sin with exhaust manifold wear. Apparently, the material of this unit was chosen incorrectly and the metal from its inner surface crumbled, and the wear products, getting into the turbine, killed it. It's annoying, after all, under normal conditions, the resource of the Garrett turbocharger, from 128,000 rubles, is 350,000 km. Glow plugs must be changed carefully, due to the sticking of the thread, the head of the block can be damaged. Transmission. Buyers of Mercedes-Benz ML will not have to bother with the choice of gearbox, all cars come with the 7-speed automatic. The valve body often cause trouble, the solenoids of the control valves, 4,500 rubles each, of which failed by 100,000 kilometers. The box began to twitch and stutter during acceleration. If the disease is started, then soon the clutch pack will also infect. After 150,000, the oil pump is usually surrendered. 15,000 rubles, the automatic selector refuses to switch, the electronic control unit ECM does not withstand the heat test, 30,000 rubles. But all these defects, except for one, leaks in the cooling tubes of the machine, were eliminated after restyling. The 7-speed automatic after the modernization of 2008 has lost almost all of its congenital diseases, except for fragile cooling tubes that flow in the places of rolling. Replacement, from 8,500 rubles. According to the regulations, the oil in it is changed every 60,000 kilometers, and our masters recommend doing this every 40,000 kilometers, in our conditions it is advisable. The pro off-road transmission is durable. The transfer case, as well as the automatic, usually withstands 200,000 kilometers. Sometimes, before this period, the chain is stretched, 9,500 rubles, and the bearings begin to buzz. However, the soundtrack can also come from an outboard bearing, which dealers change along with the drive shaft, 40,000 rubles. In specialized technical centers, the bearing can be replaced separately for 6,500 rubles. After 150,000 kilometers, you have to change the front gearbox, 43,000 rubles, the imminent death of which will be announced by hum and vibration. Chassis and body. The spring suspension of the standard Mercedes-Benz ML is as strong as tank armor. The first in the front suspension for 60 to 90,000 kilometers are the stabilizer struts, 1,500 rubles each. And only to 120 to 150,000 kilometers comes the turn of shock absorbers, 10,800 rubles each, and lower levers, 3,500 rubles each, which become unusable due to the wear of their silent locks. Rear suspension elements are even more reliable and last one and a half times longer on average. 
The only exceptions are shock absorbers, 8,500 rubles each, nursing an average of 100 to 130,000 kilometers. The spring suspension is durable and requires repair only after 120,000 kilometers. At the same time, in the pneumatic airmatic, it will already be necessary to change the racks aggregated with shock absorbers, which cost 52,000 rubles each a piece, and so that they safely live up to this period, they should be washed with every car wash. In steering, after 100,000 kilometers, traction is changed, 2,300 rubles each. The rail takes care of 200,000 kilometers, but it may begin to leak much earlier than this period. It is eliminated by installing oil seals and seals from the repair kit from 1,000 rubles. And if it starts to tap, first of all check the steering shaft cardan, 8,000 rubles. But the power steering pumps, 22,000 rubles, at first often changed under warranty. When replacing, it is advisable to update the tank, the filter mesh of which quickly clogs. The rear suspension elements live one and a half times longer than the front suspension parts. But again, the exception is air springs, which after 130,000 kilometers become unusable. True, they do not cost like the front ones, only 14,000 rubles each. Airmatic air suspension is more finicky and expensive. Nomo cylinders rarely withstand more than 120 to 140,000 kilometers, but they are not cheap. The front ones complete with shock absorbers, 52,000 rubles each, and the rear ones, 14,000 rubles each. To prolong their life, it is advisable to rinse the cylinders with each wash. And if the car starts to make extraneous knocks when driving through bumps, check the fastening of the front pneumatic elements to the racks, the fasteners weaken over time and require a banal brooch. The body is distinguished by heroic resistance to corrosion, and the paintwork is durable. Even chrome parts do not lose their gloss for many years. The main thing is that a car handicraftly restored after an accident is not sold to you under the guise of a worthy copy. On variants with the Pro Off-Road Package, the design of the center console differs from the basic version. But the electrician presents unpleasant surprises with age, there are interruptions in the work of climate control, the heater motor is tormented by serenades, air damper servos, eight pieces, 3,500 rubles each, begin to live their lives, the sound signal and the buttons on the steering wheel are buggy, swallow CDs, player, and the treatment is by no means cheap. 